All right, everybody. You know, you're seeing here the secret history living inside your aquarium. Today's not a history lesson so much, folks, but a little bit of a, a geology, geography, and uh, just a show-and-tell unboxing sort of thing. So, uh, I went up to Aquarium Co-op in Edmonds, my hometown, and, and I ended up buying the last fish that are going into this tank for now. Uh, there might be some fish coming out at some point. I might pull the pencil fish out uh, eventually. I don't know. We'll see. But what did I get myself into? Well, what I got myself into is this little guy. And he's actually full grown already. So I got myself the biggest one I could because he's going to hopefully help with this algae problem. So this is a pandagara. Um, and essentially they're also known as a, uh, you know, log sucker or, or a, uh, rainbow gara. They are a cyprinid, so that means they're from Southeast Asia most likely. And, uh, he, he is, he's from Myanmar and they've got a lot of personality. They got little paddles like, uh, almost like feet for walking on mud and walking along the bottom of rivers and holding onto rocks. So they go through wet season and dry season, and they can put up with a really wide uh, range of of different uh, you know environments. So they can put up with super fast speed water, um, and they were thought to be a loach for a while. They're newer to the trade. They came to the trade in 2005 officially, although people brought them back earlier and people had other names for them. But that's when Tin Win uh, exporters out of Thailand started exporting them so to the U.S. So uh, and then Singapore as well. Now you can get them from a lot of different exporters. But now there are. Uh, mostly imported they're all caught in the same season they are found from uh the mountains on uh outside of uh sh the shan region uh bordering thailand in myanmar and then it goes all the way down to the bay of bengal following the river systems uh so they live a lot of times in flooded out spots and then they uh, get the monsoon, and they live in torrents of water. Uh, and they like this terrain uh, here. If you can see the focus, if it would focus, there we go. This terrain, they like the rocks and the algae and s steps and high flow, like two filters and a power head. So this should be a great tank and the wood for it to eat off of. And they have a whole lot of personality. They'll follow your finger, and they're just a pretty intelligent little fish, you can tell, compared to, say, a guppy. Now, the next thing we got going on here is we've got these sword tails. And these ones have such a long gonopodium that they cannot reproduce uh, on their own. So I uh, decided I would get three females and I would get one male sword tail with less color and one sword tail molly hybrid. Uh, and that is what I ended up doing. You're trying to photobomb, aren't you? But these are a uh, relative of the guppy, of the molly, the platy, uh, so swordfin, molly, platy, um, those are all related. And then the guppy and endler are kind of on the smaller end of that spectrum. But you've also got about 112 other species of, uh, of these guys out in the wild. But these are just a really beautiful find. And I'm going to get them out of the bag. They, these ones, the yellow swords tend to be from Mexico. But these have been heavily adapted to uh, breeding in captivity. Uh, now, the interesting thing is that the gonopodium being so long on the males, you can see that that is uh, their <clears throat> private parts, and it's hanging out on that male up there to the degree that it's almost as long as his sword on the bottom level. You see that white 
fin coming out from the bottom of him, the, the male that you can see uh, now at the base. Now he's in the middle, now he's up top. Uh, and so they actually, to reproduce, you have to get a different species uh, that's just slightly different or a different, uh, a different, uh, what do you call it? A different, uh, strain and don't have the, uh, the gonopodium and the fins and swords quite so long. So that's why that other male is in there over here and he's got that long, long sword but not the long on a podium and he doesn't have quite the same coloration so you guys will see the yellow versus the orange the difference in the colors so let me get these guys they're all acclimated but let me get these guys all in the tank we'll shoot a little bit of b-roll as they would say and uh yeah they're, they're both easily kept in uh you know most water in your tank they're pretty good starter fish these guys can be a little nippy definitely you can eat some fry and things like that but in this tank i'm not too stressed on that yet and there's only five of them they're big they're easy to catch and uh i thought they'd add some kind of interesting flashes with the yellow and orange that'll be growing in with some of the beautiful uh rotalas and ludwigias back there and uh, this corner is kind of more green and dark, like it's down in the river. So I'm thinking that the Pandagara will be coming down the rocks and hanging out in these two corners. And everyone else uh, will be, hopefully they'll be using the top and middle water. And the schooling fish will be using this middle lower water. And the quarries on the bottom, which is what's been going on. So... Let's hope that continues, but we needed some help with the algae. I see spot algae, diatome algae starting, and also hair algae. So hopefully this guy works better than the Siamese algae eaters, because I got three of these lazy suckers in here, and they're not helping. I don't know if you can see it on my shirt right now, but I actually have an aquarium co-op shirt. So thanks to Robert at Aquarium Co-op and Allie, who always helped me out there. Um, and then also I met somebody who watched the channel, uh, my channel there, uh, this channel there, uh, not the Aquarium Co-op channel, obviously I would assume they know about that if they're shopping there, which is a great channel, you should check it out, but, um, Aquarium Co-op and, uh, Swiskey Vision, Jimmy, his photographer's channel, and, uh, Real Fish Talk and so forth, all those channels, uh, give them a look they own the store or Corey does who started all of that i don't i wonder what all these pencil fish are looking at they're all just standing there and they're looking at the anubias <laughs> so in any case let's get to the fish let's see what they look like out of these bags and under the nice light all right this will take uh, me a couple minutes this will take you a couple seconds so be right back do 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 ready panda one Copy that. Ready, Panda 1. Alright, Panda Leader, come on out. Or climb farther into the net, you know, whatever. Come on. There we go. And you're free! Probably gonna go hide. Oh, maybe not. Maybe he's gonna come down. Is he gonna give us a... Uh, I'm too sexy for this tank. Let's see here. Well, he's pretty. I see why uh, they call him pandas, but I would call them uh, rainbow. I could see why they call him that also. I don't think we're going to see any of his friendly hopping. They do this kind of weird skipping over stuff and hopping thing, but I hope he gets... Looks like hopefully he's going to go straight to work eating that algae. So look at that eye. Very, very expression... Like lots of expression in there. So, all right, next up is the sword tails sword tails ready for entry coming in all right so we have both new critters in their tank look at that beautiful sword there hopefully everyone gets along doesn't start picking on everyone i don't know if you guys can see this but they look absolutely beautiful with the peaches and the oranges in those plants back there 
when I get some iron in here, uh, it'll be even better. So be sure to like, subscribe if you want to see more of these fish. And if you'd like to see more content, learn more about these fish and see other tanks and learn a little bit about history and uh, evolution and uh, geology, all that good stuff. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and if you really like the channel, find me on Patreon. Uh, it's my main support. Take it easy. Take care of yourself and your critters. I'll talk to you later. Swim on, guys.